I know a lot of people go to crazy with these picnics. You got um, lobster, caviar. It's great if you've got servants and uh, refrigeration and whatnot. Nice Lamborghini, bright orange convertible. <laughs> but yeah, um, the warm weather. If you really want things, like I was saying earlier, the British classics are great in this warm weather. You transport them there in your bag or wicker basket. They're built for travel. Um, we've got the, uh, the Melton Mowbray pork pie. They were, the reason they became so popular is because their cases were, were indestructible compared to other makes of pie. Um, so yeah, great for travel. Uh, I'm gonna get a Scotch egg from Fortnum and Masons who invented them. Every time you read about it, people write, write about it like they didn't. Like, like Fortnum and Masons claim to, there's always an air of disbelief, but I don't think anyone's proved that they didn't. So let's roll with Fortnum and Masons invented the Scotch eggs, so we're gonna get one of their Scotch eggs. I'm headed here. Fulton and Masons to get a uh, scotch egg from the food hall in the basement. Let's go. We're just one block away from Green Park here where I'm headed for the picnic and you could get absolutely everything you require for a picnic here including the hamper to put it in. They specialise in picnic hampers. They'll even deliver it for you with full livery if you like as long as you're prepared to pay. I know exactly where the scotch eggs are. I've been here before, to buy these before. Scotch eggs. Okay, they have two scotch eggs today, the traditional scotch egg and a black pudding scotch egg. I'm gonna go for the traditional. The pies look amazing too. This is the hamper department where they also have picnic baskets. And as you can see, they have ones ready to go with at various price points for different scenarios but you can also commission your own um, a more bespoke contents for whatever you're planning and we're just down the road from the park so it's a perfect spot to come and pick up a picnic hamper if you're having one in town okay what are we going that way that was called a mason's got myself a scotch egg they lay claim to inventing the scotch egg. So, for those of you who don't know what scotch egg is, it's uh, a boiled egg um, encased in sausage meat. They do a black pudding one as well. So, encased in black pudding meat, sausage meat. And then coated in breadcrumbs, deep fried. Deep fried breadcrumbs. Very incredible. They sound, yeah, it sounds uh, odd, but they're good. All these foods, perfect British picnic foods, great for traveling. They were invented for traveling. Apparently, originally, this was Piccadilly here. It wasn't that picnicking was for the world to do, it wasn't, um, but they were traveling, so they would take coaches from here um, to their country houses or off to the country, and uh, yeah, they needed food that would uh, survive traveling. Filling food. So yeah, you've got scotch eggs, you've got the melt mowbray pork pies, the pasty. Also great for, I guess, for uh, taking for country pursuits. So, um, and work. Scotch egg. Additional scotch egg from Fort Worth Masons. Who invented Thing of beauty. Now that's travelled well. I've had this in my bag for a couple of hours, rattling about. Still good to go. Mm. Basically, got a hard boiled egg. Obviously, they're pretty fragile. So, as a means of travel, transportation, cased in sausage meat, deep fried breadcrumbs. Still got beautifully runny yolk, perfectly cooked. Soft and gooey in the inside. Nice and cooked on the outside. 